Phew, we got there. Lent is behind us, likewise, the rigours, sorrow, sense of bereavement and pain of Holy Week, and of course, Good Friday. Yes, that Good Friday. I wouldn't want to go through that again. Jesus on a cross, dies, is taken down and buried in a tomb. End of story. We often underestimate the sense of loss, bereavement, deep concern about the future that the friends of Jesus must have felt. A sense of desolation with so many hopes and dreams lost in a mock trial and death on a dung heap. So inevitably bereaved, the friends of Jesus hide away, afraid, scared, lost, alone. Then, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they didn't find the body of Jesus. Richard Bavin's brilliantly insightful painting, The Empty Tomb, challenges us, takes us somewhere we may never have been before. For we're placed at eye level within the tomb moments after Jesus had walked into the warm, gentle light of the early morning, up and out into the garden. You and I now stand alone in the tomb, this place of stillness and emptiness, grave clothes, a discarded heap lying in the corner. Jesus is no longer there. Light shines in the once darkened tomb. But what are we to do? Perhaps the only thing we can do is to take the solitary walk up the steps into the bright sun, which for a moment blinds us. In that garden, we may, like Mary, meet Jesus, or perhaps in the evening with the two disciples, we'll meet Jesus on the road to Emmaus, or eating breakfast by the Sea of Galilee, perhaps in the upper room as he gently invokes the Spirit upon us. With the cross, one journey ends. At the empty tomb, a new one begins. My journey, your journey, the church's journey. The same journey that John Bell and Graham Moore from the Iona community write about in this song. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me?